Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today to take a look at the newest Wi-Fi surveillance camera from Emilab. This is the EC3 Lit, which is a camera that on the outdoor range from Emilab, it's the one that has the lowest price and might be the best option if you are looking for something to add to your smart home on a budget with a lot of features. Some of those features include using the app on our mobile phone or the app on our Mac OS computer or Windows computer. And if you are using a Windows computer and still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case you want to check that out, the link will be down below. Now, that being said, let's take a closer look at the EC3 lid. Inside the package, we will find the power adapter, some screws for wall mounting, a user guide, and also the camera. Now, the camera is simple with two non-detachable antennas, which are small, but will help to have a good signal coverage. In fact, one of the strongest points on the Emilab product is exactly the Wi-Fi coverage. If you recall, we have a smart video doorbell, which I will show in just a few moments. And it is by far the one with the strongest signal that we have tested until today and the one that I keep on using. I will show you as well in just a few moments that I'm connected to a network which is not here on the office but near the swimming pool. It has a micro SD slot for memory cards up to 512 gigs and in terms of the installation it's simple. As usual I put it on my pergola, it's just wood and some screws but we can put it on any wall or something like that and I just need a place to take some tests, in this particular case my backyard, so we just need to to make sure that we have Wi-Fi signal and also we have electrical grid uh, socket so that we can connect to that and basically that is it. Once we turn it on we just need to connect with our phone app and in a matter of minutes we have the camera and the system working. Now video quality is always one of my concerns and what I can say surprisingly which is on the past couple of years we have seen a increased quality in these kind of cameras. In this particular case, we are talking about 2K. So I did a lot of tests on this past week. And usually I only watch on my phone. And then when I'm about to do the video, I will put some images right over here, like I'm doing right now, and you will see it on full screen. Now, always have in mind that my screen is 4K resolution because I'm recording in 4K, but the footage that we are extracting from the camera is 2K in this case. So it will be a bit stretch but we will have an idea of what we can see if we use it on a big display like on our computer. Now I did some tests during day in different lightning situations and I also did test it out during the night whether using infrared or also with the LED lights that it has and it seems to me that the quality is top notch. Now it is waterproof IP66 and usually I do need to do some artificial tests but they were not necessary in this particular case because it has been raining for the past few days so we could throw some real rain at it, at it and there's nothing like a good few nights and days of rain to test out these devices and what I can say is that it did pass and it's still working it's all okay so we can trust Emilab as we have been doing for the past devices. Now it also has audio in both ways and it has an alarm which is optional we can activate it or deactivate it. We have the option to use the mobile app or the uh, computer app, which is, as I said, available for computers with Windows or computers with Mac OS. In my particular case, Mac OS, so you will be seeing right over there on screen, two cameras simultaneously. One is the smart video doorbell and the other one is the EC3 lit that we are testing. And one of the advantages of using a computer is that we can have two, four, eight, 16 cameras available to check out and we can have different scenarios. So if you have more than one house or more than one uh, location, you can do that on the computer easier than on the app. 
Now looking at the app which is right over here and I'm recording on the camera instead of the phone because if I'm recording on the phone I cannot do this which is to see the image that we have and for me this is the most important test that I do not here on the office because these conditions are ideal in terms of lighting but on the real tests during the night during the day if I have good image quality right over here on my phone it will pass my tests and as you can see right over there it is a great image quality so no issues whatsoever right over here 2k we can shut it off we can turn on the audio and we can just put it on full screen Screen. Then we have the alarm option that you have seen. We also have the option to take pictures manually and to record manually and to um, go to the cloud options. Now, by default, we will have three months available for free to test out the service. And then if we want to keep the service, we will have several plans. We can select and pay for which the prices are not that huge, but you can check that on the email app website. And at this moment, I'm using the SD card and also the cloud storage. Now, right over here on the main part of the screen, we have the button to talk. So if I press this, I will have uh, available a phone call so that someone is right over here can talk to me and I can talk to that side of the screen. One of the things that I use on a daily basis, not with the EC3 lit, but works the same way, is with the smart doorbell, which is the one that I'm using for past one year or something like that and if someone rings and I'm not there like a delivery package I just need to answer and then arrange the pickup of the package and basically that is it which is something really awesome now on the app we also have right over here the live option which is what's happening at this moment and the events now as we can see on the events it will show us a series of things and on these right over here on the office but uh, for the rest of the days it was on the outside on the backyard at this moment I only have person detection so it's only when a person gets detected sometimes there is a mistake on the algorithm but I've seen that what it happens is that sometimes I do have clothes uh, drying here on the balcony and if one of those clothes move it will detect a person like a shirt or something like that so the algorithm will get a bit confused but those were only the few things that I saw that did not work 100% objects and something like that did not trigger persons only now if we go right over here we can see on a timeline so if i check right over here i can go back and see exactly where we did trigger the uh, movements and the alarms and so on and so forth and what we can do as well is go by day as we can see we are testing out for a few days there we go a person detecting which was me i can go to previous days and then i can select either the timeline which if i know what time I'm looking for a certain thing probably this is the easiest way I can also filter by motion detection human detection border crossing or activity zone connection which we'll see in just a few moments and right over here we have um, what we did record right over here and what was getting now these might be easier to read because we have the events and it will show one if it's only movement or if it's a person it will show two of these stamps but we do have right over here on this example where it shows movement and person detected so these are the ways that we can then browse around the footage that we get right over here now we are searching on the cloud but we can also search on the sd card which is more or less the same now if we go right over here on the home monitoring we have the events that we can enable or disable motion detection at this moment is disabled it's closed but it's disabled because if we enable if it detects like a raindrop or something like that it will trigger so it's really sensitive we do have the person detection open that we can select these options right over here and we also have the activity zone detection where we can select for example in this case I just want to detect people on that area right over there which is critical or this area right over here and basically it will give us that option if someone is right over here it will not trigger the um, notification or the alarm then we also have the border cross section which is more or less the same but if we select it will give us a 
border cross that we can select and if someone is right over here it will trigger the notification if it's right over here it will not trigger the notification and these options might be useful for those large areas where we want to shorten the place that we want to focus now there's also alert sensitivity at this moment is on low but we also have the eye setting i do believe that low is enough it is smart enough to detect on this setting right over here and then the push notifications interval which is set to five minutes at this moment now storage settings we will have the information about the sd card recording mode which is one of the things that uh, sometimes I get asked is it available to record 24 7 and yes we can put it right over here always record and keep all recordings stored on the memory card what happens is that it will record once the SD card is full start to record on the oldest recording and it will recording on top of the oldest one and that will be it so if we have a 512 gig storage we will be able to store more data and have a lot more time than on a 64 gig for example so these are the options that we have on storage we can also format the hard drive in this particular case i do have a 32 gigs or 64 i'm not really sure can't recall but we only have available 20 gigs at this moment and besides that we also have some installation precautions which is on the manual some informations of the device network info and one of the things that i want to show you is that the wi-fi strength is almost 60 percent and the wi-fi module that we are getting is not here on the office is on the pool pump area where is the power line that i use for smart devices that i do have on my backyard and so on and so forth so this one is connected right over there but we could have connected to this office right over here and have the camera on that side so the wi-fi range is quite good not only on the other email apps products that we have tested but on all ec3 lit as well and basically this is it in terms of the app we can also share the device like we can with others and that is it hopefully it was useful to compare with other wireless surveillance cameras that you are looking for now this one right over here comes to enrich the email app range which in my opinion for an outdoor camera simple enough with all the features on the app and also on the computer and we can connect to other smart devices that we already have at a budget price that being said, hope that the video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.